Hey guys, Buck here, of course, and today we're discussing a Nurburgring game we played in the solicit stream a while back. Not too long ago, honestly, but yeah. Opening play when you're playing with Solicitor, guys, if you haven't already noticed, is you need to send some torps, some lucky torps, his way. And be aware when you're trying to do the same to Chalky, because she'll actively avoid that. So just be aware of that, and uh, you'll look in the like here. Shown. Now, onto the boat, the Nurburgring itself. Um, Really cracking, cracking boat. It really is an amazing boat, but it's not an easy boat to play, and it really requires a capable cruiser hand because it indeed a very light cruiser, and it is when when Shell said it, it certainly acts like a light cruiser. Um, yeah, you've got you've got a good firepower, you've got great DPM, you've got the German quarter pen HE, so you're getting consistent damage per hit, and you know the fire chance is reduced because it's basically built in EOP. But uh, you still get it with time. You've got a relatively fast fire rate as well, so you've got that going for you. By far the biggest issue of the Nuremberg is, of course, its uh, tendency to get dev struck, as well as its, uh, well, should I say, inability to kill ships incredibly quickly. I mean, that's more of a fault of, a cruiser, of the cruiser line itself. You can't kill battleships innocently, unless within 2 kilometer range. But uh, having DPM is all good, but you can't just... Uh, the fact that you can't kill ships out right there threatening you, it means you have you need to be careful about how your positioning is, because if you misposition your broadside in front of New Mexico, or even Bell on front of New Mexico, it doesn't matter. You can't kill him in the time zone, and if he's more further than six kilometers away, you end up becoming a YOLO boat and it doesn't go out well. <clears throat> but the good thing about the Nuremberg as well, really good thing, it's unlike other cruisers, uh I, 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 I like the other German cruisers we currently have, except the Weimar. Uh, low caliber guns, which means even the German arcs, which are incredibly bad, you know, generally, uh, can arc because the low caliber guns tend to float, are much more floaty. So you can get positions like this where you are completely safe from harm and you can just shoot an arc over islands and you can get the really opportune shots. So it's already 10,000 damage done and we've only got one fire. It's the, the sheer quarter pen, pen damage is really adding up. And we do actually have a fire build, we're running the same build we have on the Weimar, so if you haven't seen the Weimar Masterclass, do take a look at that, and you can see the builds that we're using. And this is what I mean by the boat being hard to play. Um, identifying positions like these for the Nuremberg is much more difficult than boats like the Hell Now. We've got a really good shell arc that you can just lob over, much more comfortable islands. We've actually got pretty low island here, and it's ideal. The front guns are missing because they're heading the island, but the back guns, which is most of our power, firepower, is indeed doing the job here. And uh, working with what you've got, what using your terrain well, you have to figure out what positions on the map you're playing on is beneficial, can dictating the situation of the battle, where the enemy ships are, and where you are relative to that position. Can you get to that position in time and have, have fun farming the ships? Or is it better that you push and progress a cap here? Because what you've done here is you've managed to capture this objective single-handedly, as well as get some good damage on um, enemy battleships, 45k. Hey, it's free damage. We're capping an objective and doing damage. There's nothing more you could ask for, really. The only thing I would want more is a DD popping up right in front of me. That would be even better. But Again, we can't have everything. Um, so, you know, these are free shots. Take them while we have. There's no reason not to fire. We're not getting spotted by it. There's going to be Weimar there. So even gets kind of a little bit single fire, but burning damage control. You never know what might happen. He might burn his damage control. He might get Citadel. This, you know, the engine might be permanently disabled. And because he's damage control to single fire, you know, um, <clears throat> he'd be stuck dead in the water for somebody, you know? So Solicitor does his thing and he kills that, finishes off that New Mexico that we were burning for quite some some, some time. I mean, it's a fair amount here. He is being plagued by a destroyer, but uh, he has a little bit of support. So I thought, hey, we're going to push forward here and we're going to go uh, catch these battleships from the rear, uh, including the Pensacola. And there's really nothing for us to do over here. The, the island's preventing us from doing much here. We're not going to use this to be this. We just gonna, I thought we'd mess around a little bit here. Again. Not the ideal play, but hey, it's a little bit of fun. That's what, we, that's what you play the game for at the end of the day. So that's what we're doing that. <clears throat> so California's pushing away from us. He's pushing towards the Charlie side. They're pushing the Charlie side kind of hard. We've won pretty decisively on A, or I say one, but we've not really had anything on A. So what we need to do is with the steam roll, push through and support our team on the Charlie side. He's trying to hold it as long as he can, that guy. And I do feel sorry for him. He's just being swamped by everything. There's not really much we can do. Slisto thinks uh, we should get it to crossfire, and it's nice to him. Him being there 
and then myself, of course. It is generating good cross army getting fires. This California will have to turn to shoot back at us with his, all of his guns at least, and that means he's going to have to give broadside to Solisto on the south. Uh, the DD is south though. You can see him and Solisto is having a, a close quarters engagement there. I'm trying to help him out, but I don't think I'll get to him in time. He's on low health. Can we get a shot in there? The island says, oh no. <clears throat> says we can just get him there. Got a little bit of damage in. Can we finish him off before we kill Solisto? No, unfortunately not. But we do smack the living crap out of that DD. He's almost dead and we don't get the blind fire. We'll try again, but I don't think we get anything done there. <clears throat> we almost got rid of the destroyer, but no such luck. End route to spec, a little bit of misplay there. Oh, another bit of major misplay here. This is the almost bit here. Oh, and that could have been Dev Strike, that could have been it, but thank God he actually overpaid because uh, of the way we turned, I guess, and just a little bit of luck on my part, I'm not going to lie. That could have been a Dev Strike, and that could have been the game over. It would have been pretty interesting. 69,000 damage. I mean, it's, it's jumping up because of the fire, but hey, you know, one can believe. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to keep spamming the, the California. He can't shoot us over this island, and we can get into here, push into the B cap, and get contested. No. Uh, capture that point. Now, the Akatsuki or Katsuki uh, is indeed spotting us. He's going to keep us spotted for a while. Oh, he actually shows himself up. Oh, God. Sonar does pick him up, which is very good. He's got no health left, as you see. If we were a little bit luckier with our shots, or a little bit more better aimed, I guess, uh, we would have probably killed him here. We actually get a pen there with the damage. He's been really saturated. That's probably why we couldn't kill him in the first place. Uh, we had another pen there. Can't seem to do it. Chalky does finish off the job, but uh, that's all that matters, that's all she wrote. And because he's dead, um, we can basically cackle in peace here. We can, we don't have to worry about anything, we can just uh, <clears throat> relax, push into the B cap, and uh, when the battleships come back in range, we can start farming them. But the biggest problem here is uh, not necessarily killing ships, we are down on ships. It's the best thing we could do is get the caps. So we need to push on the Bravo cap 100%. It's more important than killing ships right now best thing for us to do is to stay alive, get the caps, and let the point tick build up. We are down on points, but we are actually up on caps. We have two caps to their one. Both points, all caps are generating points, so that's not necessarily... It's okay, but they're pushing into the Charlie cap, and that will be probably under their control relatively soon, so we need to be careful about that. And we could shoot here because if you notice that our guns are firing, there's nothing else that can actually shoot us besides the Vimar itself. And the Vimar's got bigger problems to deal with. It's got a very angry Graspy and another friendly battleship for him to deal with. So he's not going to last very long. Probably not. <clears throat> so we actually get rid of him with our follow-up shots there. Kill securing every shot that he lives, speeds in every salvo. That could mean an extra fire for the battleship, an extra fire for the Graspy. And yeah, honestly, this, this game is pretty darn close and pretty darn tight, so every kill here, we really just need the boats dead. I don't really care who gets them, it's not really up for debate, we just need to get the job done. Uh, sorry if you can hear those in the background there, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so, California, we need to get him down. Um, instant damage. Leander, we can take a pot shot, we've got AP loaded for it now. Again, California's relatively broadside to us, AP would do a fair amount of damage here. We're just going to keep the AP on a little bit more. We want some instant damage here, something you can't heal back. And maybe the fire would be better. We don't really eh, think to know. Three pens. Again, we're getting some reliable heads with the AP. Uh, we're not going to get half a chance to switch anyway. We do switch though for the NC. And we can get some behind island shots there. Now, we are paying attention to the North Carolina with guns. If he was focusing on us, we probably would just go dark here. But, um, <clears throat> Unfortunately enough, he wasn't interested in us. We just, just not shot the California if that was the case. But uh, now we can sit behind this island here and just cackle again and just, just really build this DPM on him. Show him how strong the Nuremberg is if you get it into a good position. There's a fire. I think he damage controlled that fire. No, he didn't. Okay, so maybe he's on cooldown or we just got a single fire. Either or. It doesn't matter. We're just going to keep trying to burn him down while he's fighting. Uh, Chucky, the Grass B, and a friendly battleship too. I can't. It was a friendly cruiser, I believe, actually. Not a battleship. The battleship must have gone down to possibly the Weimar. We don't actually know. Or the NC's additional thing. And there we go. We get our additional cap. And as we said early on, the C cap is now under the enemy control. So we're still got a two point lead, uh, two cap lead, and we've now caught up in points. And then because he kills our CV, 
we are now down by 40 points, but again, we still have the two cap lead. So over the one cap, and we are generating points here. North Carolina fires at us here, and the carrier does a sort of tremendous amount of damage to us here. Unavoidable, really, and we try and duke the best we can to the NC. Minimize our profile and use this island to our advantage as much as possible. Again, we're trying to use island here to try and reduce our big the carrier uh, bomb drop difficult. But uh, we had to burn damage control, a little bit of a panic damage control at the start there. Now we've got a perma fire and we, our engine is permanently broken. Now, the NC is not a problem, you don't think you can get a reliable shot off on us, but the enemy boats behind us uh, from Charlie Camp are certainly a problem. So this is indeed a problem here. We need to this engine knockout is pretty darn uh, dangerous for us and pretty unfortunate indeed. Um <clears throat> We don't know what the enemy boats down south are doing. We can't actually see them. Fire does get rid of the Calif uh, get North Carolina. That's always good. Gneisenau is coming though. And we really need this damn. We need this engine because we are dead in the water. We need to move and we can't do it. This is a big problem. Might as well just turn our guns while we're doing this. And the carrier is coming back for more because yeah, carriers are always fun to deal with. Really fun to deal with. We had to burn our damage control. I know 10 seconds left, but we need to burn it. We need to make sure we're not hit by this guy's now. It doesn't matter if it's going nice now, if it's an accurate or not. All it takes is one hit, one or two hits. Citadel and an overpen probably would do the job, so we've got to be very careful. Uh, carrier is British carrier, so the torps are very, very slow, which means we can dodge them. Meh. Yeah, <laughs> we can dodge them. We have to lead the cap. It's not worth our life. We just need to straight up disengage and do the best we can. Carrier's going after us, which is not ideal, but hey, if it's just torpedoes, we can focus entirely on him. And when it's just a carrier you're dealing with, most times you can you can deal with it. There's a lot of strength to a carrier, and uh, if when you're when you're fighting against one, the biggest annoyance is uh, the fact that it's basically when you're fighting other surface ships, it becomes unavoidable damage, and that's you know never fun to deal with in a game. Period at all. Doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna take damage and you're gonna die. So. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't really sound good as a business concept or a gaming concept, so yeah, I don't know why. I still don't think they should be in the game at this point. It's just... Mm. They're in the game, they're not going to go anywhere, unfortunately, so there we go. <clears throat> we'll deal with the devil while we still... Well, it's still not as horrible as it can be. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to push towards uh, our friendly cruisers here. Pensacola is really low. Thank God he's going after me and not going after the Pensacola. And uh, I'm gonna go for the uh, grass beat for mutually support at this point. We had to just group up a little bit. Uh, fortunately, the Android gets a little bit too confident in his ability here. And he pushes in front of himself, in front of uh, Nurburg. Again, it's the British Emir piercing. Uh, the, the British Emir piercing does hurt, yes, but he's running, putting himself against a battleship, aka the grass beat, and Nurburg, which has got ridiculously good fire away. And uh, pretty strong AP. It might be German AP, but it's still very strong AP. We're going to switch back to HG and get what we can done. Carrier is still going after somebody. I think he's going after Chalky this time, so <clears throat> I suppose a little bit of a reprieve there. A bit nicer. I mean, on us, on Chalky, I'm for sure she's not a fan of it, but hey, you know, yeah, we can have I'm glad he's spreading his targets around or focusing one target, because I'm pretty sure he could have killed Pensacola if he wanted to. So Gnizen it pops up, we're trying to get as much as we can on him. The Ander disengaged, which was a smart play by him. And we're just trying to get as much damage as we can done to this guy's now. Pick up the high caliber with our fire ticks burning or no, it's just straight AP damage. It's just straight HE damage. And we gotta turn our boat here to try and get some more shots on Leander. Uh Chalky just shows him that Graspy is a battleship and we just finish him off there. That's all that matters here. And then that Gnizenhow is uh pushing in here and we can push in with him because we're at that point where we can use our uh defensive torpedoes aggressively, you know, our 6 kilometer range torpedoes. Same thing as Gneisen but we've got a lot more of them than he does, and uh, that certainly is strength. California pops up, but fortunately California has been taking some hell of a wall bit. And we do manage to finish him off, I believe. Yeah, we do, there we go. That is indeed our fourth kill, and uh, <clears throat> if we get this Gneisen that would be uh, our Kraken, I, I realize this sooner or later, but I get a little bit overconfident in our torpedoes here. I don't think it's worth getting, getting yourself killed for this, so I probably could do turn left and get the other set and probably guarantee the kill on the guy, but uh, I really just want to stay alive and there's really not much time left, so we're just going to try and disengage here, hope that we don't do the trick. Um, you never know, we're just going to straight up disengage here as much as we can, and our torpedoes 
Oh, the only two, only three that hit the mark, and it doesn't get the kill. And we've got to try and disengage here. Though he can't really shoot us, he's got to deal with just Jockey, which is absolutely fine, because Jockey has, you know, Jockey, his grasp, he's got reasonable armor protection. Getting a fire tick, and the time ends, and that's all that matters. No Kraken, unfortunately, but hey, uh, 145,000 damage with a Confederate High Cal and 3.5 base. I'm happy with that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time, and bye for now.